Um, hi guys, uh, it's day six, I think, of my 90 day challenge. I might be wrong there, I'm not sure. Um, today I just want to talk a little bit about um, a book that was recommended to me by my therapist. It's a really, really good book. It's called uh, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. And Viktor Frankl, he's a concentration camp survivor. He spent time in Auschwitz and Dachau during the Second World War. He was in like really horrific conditions. I mean, he saw lots of really bad stuff. He, you know, all his family got killed in concentration camps. And it's, it's. I mean, it doesn't sound like I'm not really selling it to you. I know, but um, ultimately, the book is about his experience and how he found meaning even in the most hopeless of situations. So he was in Dachau. He was in Auschwitz. He knew that his life was kind of out of his hands in some ways. Um, by the uh, Nazi Germany had uh, taken over and kind of wiped out quite a lot of his friends and family uh, but he survived and he kind of describes in his book it's a really short book so it's a really quick read um, so he describes his experiences and day-to-day -day life in the camp and he talks about how he saw some people where the life just goes out of them they come to a point where they just see no no hope anymore and they literally just give up and die. And he saw that so often in camp. And it then goes on to describe just how he survived and what he found within himself. He found meaning even in that suffering. So I think my takeaway from the book is that we, it's not about why we're here. You know, there's, there's no point asking ourselves, what's the point, what, what's the meaning of life? Why are we here? I think we should be, asking ourselves the question um, what are we going to do while we're here like what what can I do to to make meaning in my life um, and I think we do that by the way that we act and the way that we interact with the world around us and what we put out and how we treat people and um, what we contribute to the world around us so I find it was a really powerful read. Um, I would recommend reading it, it's good. Um, obviously the subject matter is quite dark, um, but as I say, the ultimate kind of takeaway is there is hope, um, there's always hope. There's always, as humans, even in the most hopeless where all control is taken out of our lives, we still have the choice of how we, we choose how we, deal with that situation so we can choose to give up and die or we can choose to find meaning and um, hold on to that meaning to keep ourselves alive and ultimately the book is quite you know there's a lot of hope that comes from it um victor frankel he went on to have a full life after he you know um after he was liberated from the concentration camps you know he did a lot of work around kind of man's search for meaning and just talking about his own experiences and he became um, a very famous psychiatrist and psychoanalyst uh, so yeah I'm going to put a link for the book down below in the description so if anyone does want to check it out you know I'd recommend it it's a really good read and yeah like I say my takeaway is um, I'm going to stop thinking about why I'm here and I'm going to just start thinking about what can I do while I'm here and that's my take from the book obviously you know that's personal to me um so yeah that's all for today uh, just a quick one um but yeah man's search remaining by victor frankel big thumbs up